you. Mr. Thompson, Hank Henshaw, FBI. This is Detective Sawyer from NCPD, and Miss Danvers from uh, Catco Magazine. The feds, a pig, and a journal. To what do I owe this confusing pleasure? Your jacket's a thrilling read. Three home invasions, two DUIs, two counts of felony murder. You all didn't come down here just to flatter me, did you? This morning, we got a call from an anonymous source asking that you be released from prison. Someone wants me out of jail? Not used to that. People usually want to keep me behind bars. A life sentence can't be all that easy. Being in here all by yourself? You were keeping contact with anyone on the outside? Just last week, Mr. J.C. Penny sent me a letter. He said there was a sale on galoshes. It's just that I don't have anywhere to wear them. Enough! My sister's been kidnapped, and her life is on the line until we find out who wants you out of prison. Miss Danvers. So save us the sarcasm. Who is it? Who has her? Calm down. Who has my sister? I don't know. You're lying. He's not. We're done here. Why'd you let him go? Because I read his mind. He's telling the truth. Losing control is not going to help us find Alex. It's only going to get her killed. When? Hey, we got something. What? So I scanned the visitor logs for Peter Thompson over the past three years. They're pretty sparse, except for one name that keeps popping up. He looks normal. He was nice in school. He used to carry Alex's book bag. Why is he doing this to her? I tried reading his mind, but he seems to be blocking me somehow. Let me in there. I can talk to him. Detective Sawyer. And they say there's never a cop around when you need one. So you know me? Of course. I took a whole year planning this. Watching Alex. Preparing. I know everything. How did you know I was Supergirl? That day at the beach. Before you started wearing glasses. You walked away without a scratch. People at school said it was adrenaline. But, uh... but you didn't believe that. I saw Cara Danvers do something amazing, and it stayed with me. <laughs> I was 14, and I didn't have the nice house or the perfect family that you and your sister had. You think we had it easy? You have no idea what Alex sacrificed for me or what I was going through. Why, because you had to hide your superpowers? I was hiding bruises. Do you have any? what it's like to have your mother tell you you were garbage every single night. A belt whenever you had the wrong opinion. And then I found a lifeline. A dad that my mom kept from me. And he saved me from her and he moved me away from Midvale. And even though he was always struggling, he always made sure there was food on the table and he got me enough money to go to college. And then three years ago, the state took him away from me. Your father killed two people. He confessed. They had it coming. And now I'm gonna rescue him like he rescued me. I can't believe that we're still talking about me. You have 24 hours and 11 minutes. Come on, Kara, show us some of that rah-rah Midvale Junior High spirit. Free my dad! Or your sister dies. Uh, you use half this much gusto in spring, my dad. You'll have your sister back for game night. Kara, we're done here. Hey, you know it'll be fun? Finding out which one of you loves her more. Honestly, I wouldn't know where to place my bed. I'm giving it one minute, then I'm going back in there. No, let him sweat it a while. We got what we wanted. What? All we know is how he knows my identity. We know that Rick's pinned his whole sense of self-worth on Peter Thompson. Thompson is the key to getting Alex back. 